Hello, this is Mark Cashman and we are here with... Sean Squires. Hello everyone. And uh, we're going to bug Sean for a little bit to tell us a little bit more about custom site designs. So, Sean, awesome. hi. first give us a little bit of sense of what are these new custom site designs we're hearing about. Yeah, so very excited. Site scripts and site designs. Think of it as uh, the future of templating, uh, of site templating. Um, it's really an opportunity to enable customers to automate the, uh, con the custom configuration of their sites after they've been created. So you can use a site design and actually render it in our provisioning flow and have custom configurations be applied to one of our modern sites. Okay, so let's take a step back and kind of maybe describe what does this mean for the user? You know, if you think about people using different SharePoint sites yeah. and, uh, you know, they're certainly working with their IT team, making requests and whatnot, right. what does it mean for the end user? So we're, we're taking a step back. So what these site designs and site scripts enable you to do is configure those sites to extend them for your specific business needs and then to do it in an automated, repeatable and consistent way so your customers and users don't have to keep doing the same things over and over again. So what what are some of the things that you can bake into a site design that gives you that sort of, you don't have to go do it manually, now you can do it programmatically? Yeah. What can you actually do? Fantastic. So there's a, what, in the site script, there's these things that we call site actions. And those actions are essentially programmatic configurations that you could think of the things you could otherwise do directly through the site itself. Create lists, create libraries, modify the navigation, apply a theme, have the site join to a hub when those come become available. So all sorts of really cool things, all that can be done automatically once the site is created using the site design. Okay, so now I've created the site design. Mark, am I going to run out of space? No, you're fine. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll save you before right. you hit anything. <laughs> so now, the, the, let's say a site design is created. Can you just walk us through the real simple way? How do I, as an end user, actually use a site design once it's in place? What's, yeah. what's the actual experience? Awesome. So right now, in the dev preview, the site designs are created and uh, uploaded by a tenant administrator. <laughs> So for the end user experience, when you go to SharePoint Home and create a new site using our self-service site creation experience, you're gonna pick one of the templates, a group connected team template or a communication template. And then you'll have an option to pick one of the site designs. You know that our communication sites, they come with a couple of uh, site designs already like topic and portfolio and blank. So think of these as additions that would be added to that menu or new ones added to the team site one. And then once you select that, the site's gonna get created, super fast I might add, and then you're gonna land on the site and then a progress panel is gonna come out and tell you, hey, we're doing some additional configuration for you so you don't have to. And in a few seconds, it's done and you're ready to go and you're off and running, being productive. All right, so I think you've walked back pretty well. You've taken a step back, you've given us a little sense of what is a custom site design, how to use it. So let's think about going forward. Now yeah. I'm gonna be the one walking backwards. All right. So, but as we go forward, what do you think? SharePoint Conference North America that's coming up in Vegas? Yeah. What are some of the things that maybe we can tease out that they'll hear from you when you present and either you know show some new stuff or certainly uh, you know, make it rock solid on how to use these things. Absolutely, fantastic question. So, uh, super excited by the preview uh, and the response to the preview. And as a lot of folks know, uh, there's a lot more to do here. You know, uh, the feature is uh, a really powerful foundation, but now there's so many things that we want to enable. Obviously, we want to grow the vocabulary of site actions and the things that you can provision through the t uh, site scripts that are called from the site designs to do all these uh, programmatic configurations. We want to make that uh, experience much richer. We also want to enable the administrators to be able to more easily create and manage these designs. We admit that it's a bit more of a dev experience right now, and it will continue to be in the near term. But boy, there's a lot of things that we're imagining and that we're eager to share with you guys at the conferences this year of some stuff we're working on and cooking up in the kitchen to make it even better. So you've got a session at the SharePoint conference? I sure do, yeah. And you're going to make it pretty awesome maybe working with your buddy Bessa? I sure hope so. Yeah, Bessa and I have just been uh, actually tweeting a few things that are happening that we're working on right now. We're really excited to uh, share with you guys in the near future and especially at the conference. All right. Well, thank you for grabbing a little time with us. Thank you for experimenting with walking backwards. Yeah, that was fun. And uh, we'll see you all at the SharePoint North America conference in Vegas. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Look forward to seeing you.